Hey folks, Boda Track here, and today we're looking at the Kubota model BX25D tractor. And well, let's pretend or assume that you just took delivery on this sexy little orange tower of power, and you're sitting in your barn or your garage, and you're trying to figure out how you're going to get this little dynamo into the living room or kitchen so you can spend all your free time with it. Eventually, you come to the conclusion that, well, that's not a realistic possibility. So you grab yourself a cold beer and climb into the saddle. Now you start thinking about all the great mods you could do to this puppy to make her more productive and feel a lot more like yours. Why not just start out simple? Oftentimes, you have one hand driving the tractor and the other one operating an implement, like the loader for example. All the new Kubotas have power steering, but putting a spinner on, like this one, takes it all one step further and ergonomically makes operation a breeze. 10 bucks at your local tractor supply and you got a very useful and practical modification that brings you one step closer to sheer perfection. Plus, as you can see here, I took the liberty of making myself a high-tech reminder device to preempt my inevitable stupidity. Made out of a couple of plastic cable ties and a weather-resistant tag from my brother label maker, I can just throw it on the joystick when the tractor's in operation and then put it back on the spinner when done. <laughs> Listen folks, I pull out of here with the ROPS up and I'm going to tear the header beam clear off the front of this building. <laughs> and that would suck. A lot. The next quick little first day mod is the upgrade to a set of plug and play LED headlights. The stock headlights are a 35 watt halogen, which projects a bit of a dull yellowish beam. But I found these 50 watt LED super white high output bulbs on Amazon for like 30 bucks delivered. And they just plain work better. Plus, they're LED, so they draw less amperage. It's all a pretty simple installation. After you pop the hood and just untwist the bulb carrier from the socket, then you remove it from the housing and unplug the bulb from the carrier and then plug in the new one. The bulb number on the OEM fixture is 896, but this 881 bulb crosses right over to it. I'll leave a link in the description below. But as you can see here, these bulbs put out a clean white light that kind of pierces through the night, about twice as good as the old ones did, in my opinion. Well, sweet and simple. First day mods complete, and that's it for this one. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. I got a ton more videos coming that'll be talking about mods, implements, and other trailer how-tos that'll definitely help hauling your scooter around a little bit better. Until next time, I wish you all good luck and Godspeed. Boat Attract, out.